But we begin tonight with an unexpected and dramatic appeal today from the most powerful figure on Capitol Hill. Just days after a Republican member of Congress screamed at the president while he addressed Congress. And thousands of conservative protesters descended on D.C. on the occasion of the anniversary of 9-11, some threatening to return with weapons. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi, who ordinarily presents an Iron Lady facade, today emotionally urged her fellow politicos to try to tone down the rhetoric, to recognize the risks of stoking extremism. I think we all have to take responsibility for our actions and our words. The, uh, we are a free country, and this balance between freedom and uh, uh, safety is one that we have to carefully uh, balance. Uh, I have concerns about some of the language that is, is being used because I saw, I saw this myself um, in the late 70s in San Francisco, this kind of of, of uh, rhetoric was, was, was very frightening and it gave, it created a climate in which we, violence took place and uh, uh, so I, I wish that we would all again uh, curb our enthusiasm in some of the statements that are made so understanding that, that uh, some of the people, the ears that are, it is falling on are not as balanced uh, as the person making the statement might assume. Speaker Pelosi's office confirmed today that the violence to which she was referring there uh, were the assassinations that rocked California and her home district of San Francisco in 1978. On the morning of November 28th that year, San Francisco Mayor George Moscone and City Supervisor Harvey Milk were murdered by one of their former colleagues. Harvey Milk, of course, was the first openly gay man to be elected to public office in California. Mayor Moscone was one of his political allies. They were shot by Milk's conservative rival on the Board of Supervisors, a man named Dan White. It was Senator Dianne Feinstein, who was then the president of the City Board of Supervisors, who found Harvey Milk lying dead on the ground in City Hall, and who then had to deliver the shocking news to the city. Both Mayor Moscone and Supervisor Harvey Milk have been shot and killed. Oh, the suspect is Supervisor Dan White. As a person who grew up in the Bay Area, whose earliest memories include that statement by Dianne Feinstein and the news reports of the rioting that followed Dan White's sentencing, I personally can tell you that it is rare and striking for a California politician who lived through that era to bring up that violence today. It's especially striking to hear it brought up this way by this Speaker of the House, a politician who rarely shows that type of emotion. Here was the response from her counterpart in the House in the Republican Party today, John Boehner. A little while ago, Speaker Pelosi grew pretty emotional describing uh, how our political climate has grown increasingly hostile, especially the rhetoric. Do you feel that our climate has grown extremely hostile these days? And sort of what's your opinion on all that? Well, as uh, you've heard me uh, describe before, I, I do believe we're in the middle of a modern-day political rebellion. Uh, the American people are saying enough is enough. They're scared to death that the country that they grew up in is not going to be the country that their kids and grandkids get to grow up in.